Another thing that is worth understanding about the language of organic chemistry, what is R? You will see in many cases that the letter R appears in a structure and they talk about the R group. And you wonder, you might wonder what this, what that R is. R is what I like to say, say uh, what I would like to call the rest of the molecule. And let me, let me write this and, and try to explain you what I mean. Look at that molecule. It's the molecule of histidine. It's an amino acid. L look at this set of bonds, or this uh, that, that section of the molecule. That's a carboxylic acid. That's an acid. And we will talk more about this later. Imagine that I was interested in the reactivity of that molecule, do reactions with that molecule, and was only interested in what it does when it behaves like a, as an acid. Um, then the rest of the molecule would not be so interesting for me because yeah, I know there's a molecule there, but I'm interested in that particular part of the molecule, that carbon double bond oxygen with another bond to an OH. So then I will choose to write my molecule as R, C, O, OH. Thinking, okay, this is the part I'm interested on. That's the bit I'm interested in right now. I'm going to write our equation with it. I'm going to study the reactivity, whatever I'm going to do on that part of the molecule. The rest of the molecule, it, it is there but it's not going to be important for me at this moment. Look at this compound here. Well, um, imagine that, sorry, that compound, that's called an amino group, that's an amine, that's a base. So that molecule in that part of the, of the, in that part of the, that molecule is going to behave like a base. That's what it's called, an amino acid. It can behave as, a, and as an acid, but also as a base, but an amino group. So if I was interested in that particular part of my molecule, you know, I'm interested in the reactions of the NH2 and I don't care about them, the rest. So, well, I would probably write CH and then I would probably do something like this. I would call this R1 and R2 or R and R prime. So what I'm trying to say is that I am interested in this bit. I'm going to be studying this bit. The rest of the molecule, it is there, I, I know it's there, I don't care about it. So that's why we use the, the letter R to mean the rest of the molecule. At that particular point in time, that rest of the molecule is not important for us, so we can't be bothered to, to write it.